Okay, remember the right triangle definition of the sine and cosine function. The sine of theta is equal to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And the cosine of theta is equal to the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, let's draw this right triangle here in the xy plane with the vertex of theta at the origin. So we see that the length of the, ace, uh, the adjacent side is an x value, and the length of the opposite side, okay, it's going in the y direction, so it's a y value. So let me relabel this using the standard notation of x and y. Okay, so now the length of the adjacent side I'm going to call x, the length of the opposite side I'm going to call y, and the length of the hypotenuse I'm going to call r. So since x is the value in this direction, and y is the value in this direction, it means the coordinates of this point up here are x comma y. So remember, x is how far you have to go in the x direction, and y is how far you have to go in the y direction to get to that point. Okay, so now what we can do is we can redefine sine of theta and cosine of theta in terms of x, y, and r. So sine of theta is equal to y divided by r, and cosine of theta is equal to x divided by r, where we can find out r using the Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus y squared is r squared, or r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay, using these definitions of sine and cosine, we can extend the definition so that theta can be any angle we want. Theta just doesn't have to be an acute angle in a right triangle. Okay, so all we need is a point on the terminal side of theta. Then sine of theta is the y-coordinate of that point divided by r. Cosine of theta is the x-coordinate of that point divided by r. Okay, so again, sine of theta is y divided by r. Cosine of theta is x divided by r, where x comma y is any point on the terminal side of theta. Okay, so let's use that definition to find the sine of 45 degrees and the cosine of 45 degrees. All we need is a point on the terminal side of theta equals 45 degrees. Okay, well, let's draw the angle theta equals 45 degrees. Okay, so what you probably notice is that this ray here lies on the line y equals x. So to find any point on the terminal side of 45 degrees, we need to plot any point on the line y equals x. Let's use the point 3 comma 3. Okay, so using this point, now what we have to do is we have to find r. Okay, so at the point 3 comma 3, that tells us that x is 3, y is 3, and we need to know what r equals. Well, r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So that's the square root of 9 plus 9, which is 18. And the square root of 18 is 3 times the square root of 2. OK, so sine of 45 degrees is equal to the y-coordinate of the point divided by the value of r, which is 3 root 2. The 3's cancel here and leave us with 1 divided by the square root of 2. OK, we already knew that that was a sine of 45 degrees. OK, cosine of 45 degrees, we need to take the x-coordinate of the point and divide it by r. Again, the threes cancel and leave us with 1 divided by the square root of 2. Okay, here's a problem for you to try. Press pause while you work on it. Okay, so you should have found that x is 5, y is 2, and r is the square root of 29. So we just need to use the definitions I gave you to find sine of theta and cosine of theta. Okay, so you find that sine of theta is 2 over root 29, and cosine of theta is 5 divided by root 29. Okay, why don't you think about this one for a second, and then I'll help you with it.
Okay, you should start by drawing the angle in standard position, which is 90 degrees. So this is this angle here. Now what we need to do is find a point on the terminal side of 90 degrees. So the positive y-axis is on the terminal side of 90 degrees. So to find the sine of 90 degrees, we just need to choose any point on this. So let's choose the point, say, 0, 6. Okay, so this means that x is 0, y is 6, and r is the square root of 0 squared plus 6 squared, which is just 6 squared, and that's equal to 6. So then sine of 90 degrees is equal to the y-coordinate divided by r, so that's 6 over 6, which is 1. Okay, so you see, using these new definitions, we can find the sine of any angle that we want. So the sine of 90 degrees is equal to 1. That's something that should be memorized. Okay, here's a problem for you to try. Find the cosine of negative 90 degrees. So remember, negative 90 degrees is the angle that you get by rotating in the clockwise direction. Press pause while you work on it. Okay, you should have found that the cosine of negative 90 degrees is equal to 0. Okay, so we choose any point here on the negative y-axis because that's the terminal side of negative 90 degrees. So along here, the x-coordinate is 0, and the y-coordinate is any negative number that we want. Okay, so we have x divided by r is equal to the cosine of this. So 0 divided by 1, which is 0.